Hello my friends of Atari Labs, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to create an NDVA calculation with of Landsat 8M uh, image, but in this time we are going to use Julia and the library ArchDidal. Okay? For this tutorial you will need to have Julia the Julia kernel on your Jupyter notebook. I will uh, I will put some. I mean, you have to. You need to have Julia installed, and then you have to install a, a package that actually creates a kernel on Jupyter. Okay, I will leave a, a tutorial on that, or like a link on that, and then here where uh, I think that just for you, I'm going to increase the size of my icons here. Okay, great. So you are going to receive this. Um, the zipped version of this folder and please place this under your document folder okay because what you are going to do is that you are going to type anaconda prompt and here on anaconda prompt you are going to type cd documents and then see here to NDVA calculation of Landsat 8 image with uh, Julia and Archidal here and then you are going to type Jupyter Lab here. Okay, great. So this is really similar to two other tutorials that we have done. Uh, we have done that with Python and then we have done that with R. This time is with Julia and the next time will be with Rust. So, but if you want to see the, the notebooks are here with Python, with R, with Julia, okay? They are the same image, so these are the clipped version of Landsat 8 image. So this is the red and the near infrared. And then we have an output folder where the NDVIs will be stored. Okay, great. Kernel, clear all outputs. Okay. Uh, if you don't have the package archidal, you can add it just running this by just running this cell. But in this case, we have the package archidal, so we are not going. And then we load the package archidal. And with the package archidal, we open the, the image for the red band and the image for the near infrared band. Okay. Then we can, and this is a function of um, Archidal, is to plot the the file just in case that you want a file a plot, you can plot it here. Okay. Then you can. Okay. From the file, you can get the band. I mean the array. No, you can get the band. Okay, because like um, an image can have many bands, so you are going to get one band. Band okay, so here we got the red band and the near band okay, and then from the band we are going to read those band and to get the array okay, so in this case we have the array and then just to show you the uh, okay, um, if I don't put this times one, uh, it will provide me, um, and I think it's a binary code of the number. So that's why if I just multiply it by one, it will provide me the actual number. Okay. So here those are the the values. Okay. And then the red array is a matrix of integers. And then here we do the uh, calculation. Ah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Something is missing here. Yeah, the something is missing here because a float array into ah because okay we have to do another another cell here why because the red array yeah will be a float point of 
red array red array float why because uh, okay let's see if this works because since we are going to do some Julia Lang, give me a minute. let's see if we can find Julia Lang flow 64 of matrix. Uh, let's see if this is flow 64. Yes, okay, okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, so I will just sample this this has to be floats why did those has to be floats because on the ndvi calculation okay maybe i just will show you just from 10 to 15 from 10 to 15. because on the calculation of the ndvi the negative values actually perform awful when you have negative values and then you have to make division on the negative values is crap okay so that is why you, here you have you can you have to convert this to um, to float okay so you have to convert the rate array flow and as well the near array the near array float as well you also have to do this okay and then this is the function that do the raster algebra okay great near minus red in divided by nearby red okay uh, in this case we are going to do that for the near array float and the near array float okay and then this took 0 0.34 and these are the values okay uh, I can delete and then we can create we can save our back this array as a TIFF, I mean a geospatial TIFF, because we are going to get the height, the width, the projection, the geotransform and so on, so we can get a georeference TIFF, a geospatial raster of this uh, NDVA calculation. So we run it, okay, and here on output we have this, okay, here I have QES open, and then here I go to documents, I go to output, and this is the Julia. Uh, if you see, actually it goes from minus two to 0 0.68, and this 64, and that's great because uh, those are the values that we expect for this. Uh -huh. If you had it with integers, actually you are going to have values of six for four, Mm -hmm. and then here you can add as well uh, with satellite and um, then you can just compare here like for example in this case this is uh, this was wet at that time or like well for this uh, yeah you have better NDV uh, no like higher NDVI values here for example, I think that this is a pond. Yeah, this was a pond. Okay, so that's that's the procedure on Julia. I hope that this will be helpful for you. And then as well, remember that you have all the files on the description of the video. Uh, that's okay. I really enjoyed doing this tutorial in a language that I was not so familiar. If you find any other way to do a NDVA calculation or faster or something like that, yeah, you can comment on the video as well. And hope to see you in other tutorials, uh, courses, or webinars. Have a great day. Y viva el software libre. Bye bye. Bye.